We all want to look our best when we're presenting ourselves to the world. Video is different because you can actually see the whole thing too, unlike seeing yourself in person, right? So you're gonna judge yourself even more in video. So let's jump into some tangible tips on how to make yourself look as good as possible on camera. First of all, let's talk about your wardrobe. Wearing a solid color is really the best way to go. If you wear something with tight patterns, it's gonna be distracting to your viewer. Also, you wanna try to avoid wearing just black or white. I know a lot of people like wearing black because they think it's slimming, but it's not necessarily gonna look the best against your skin tone. Wearing a bright color, like a jewel tone, if you Google jewel tones, that's usually gonna look really good against most skin types. If you have a shirt that every time you wear it, somebody says, oh wow, that color looks great on you, that's generally gonna be a really good shirt for you on video. The other thing you wanna think about with what you're wearing is that you wanna look like yourself. You wanna show your personality. You don't wanna wear something on video that is something you would never think about wearing in real life because you're gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna sit there going, oh, this is tight or this is not the style I normally wear. And you're not gonna come across like yourself and people wanna to get to know you. You're building that know, like, and trust factor with your videos. So we want to see the real you. As far as jewelry goes, Great, wear some, but you just don't wanna wear something that's super distracting. Somebody is staring at your earrings and doesn't even know what you're saying. And they're like, oh wait, what, what was that video about? I like her earrings though. So keep it kind of minimal, a little more subtle than normal. You also wanna watch out for loud jewelry. Sometimes things click together. Or if you're wearing a lavalier microphone, which I highly recommend that you do when you're making video, you don't want a necklace that is long enough to where it's hitting the microphone. That is a horrible sound. And it's very hard to listen to somebody who has audio like that. And finally, let's talk about your face. You don't need to go completely crazy with your makeup. You can go a little bit heavier than you would in real life, but you don't need to like go to the department store and have somebody do your makeup in a way that you normally don't have it done. Because again, you're not gonna feel comfortable with that and you're not gonna look like yourself. Extra things you can add is a little bit more blush for color, a little bit more powder. So right before you get on, adding a little powder. Men or women, that can help a lot with just that natural shine that you might get that the light is going to bring out even more. I hope these tips will help you feel more confident on camera because you know what you're going to look best in, what not to wear, how to do your makeup, what jewelry you should wear, and you are going to be ready to go. If you want help creating your videos from the conception to the completion, book a call below because that's exactly what we do. We can help you turn strangers into clients using strategic video marketing. I'd love to hear from you.